Over to you. You're still a ways off from all this stuff, but it's good to start thinking, right? Oh, I am always listening to you. Thank <laughs> you so much for the tips. You know, in southern Georgia, just 24 hours ago, they were waking up with water all around their homes thanks to the stationary front. It was producing two to three inch per hour rainfall rates. So some places had more than four inches really quickly. And same front, a little spin up there. Palm Beach, Florida with the uh, water, water spouts that were coming over. Stayed on the water, thankfully. Uh, you know, that stationary front hasn't moved much because it's stationary. And south of it, it is hot, it is stormy and sticky. And north of it, they've been quite cool. And so we'll see that kind of stick until we get through the weekend and then that heat starts to move into the southeast. That's the big picture. Let's get it checked out a little closer to home. We've been quite cool as well, but a weekend warm-up ahead of us as uh, we move into the next few days, temperatures get back to normal. Right now, 50s and 60s across the tri-state, so we are starting our warm-up for the day as well. As we move into this afternoon, our high temperatures make their way to the low 80s. It's still a touch below normal, but with sunny skies and low humidity, that'll feel fantastic. These highs uh, start to get back to averages moving into tomorrow. Here's a look at the beach forecast. Highs at our beach areas, upper 70s, low 80s, low rip current risk, and sunshine through the weekend.